Hello, my name is Kena Patterson. I've been in 4-H for three years and I'm in Cumberland County and I'm fifth grade. This is Lucy Ardell and she's getting ready to kid on March 26th. Birthing kits are easy to put together and you can purchase them from a range of $50 to $75. Or you can just make your own. Here are some things that you need in your thing kit. You always want your vet's, your vet's number in case things go wrong. Uh, dental floss is great when you have to tie off the umbilical cord. And you always want scissors in case the dental floss is too, too long. You always want a cup to hold the iodine in to, put, to dip the umbilical cord in. And of course, iodine. A flashlight is great in case things are dark. A hair dryer is great if it's cold and you need to dry off a kit. The probiotics are for the kid and to give the kid good bacteria in the room. The selenium is for the dough or the kids in case your area is selenium deficient. This is to help stop diarrhea if the dough or the kids has diarrhea. And this is for the dough in case it has a rough delivery. The colostrum is for the kids in case the nursing goes wrong. Clean surgical gloves are good in case you have to assist with the delivery. And in case you do have to assist with the delivery or turn a kid, it's always good to give the dough a shot of penicillin afterwards to prevent any infection. The Clorox are good in case your hands get messy and you need to clean them. And paper towels always make cleanup go easier. Puppy training pads are good in case you have to clean up any messes. And garbage bags just make everything go easier. The heat lamp is in case it's very cold and the kids need some extra heat. And a bucket of warm water and molasses is a great treat for the dough. Happy, Happy